And new at six, for the second year in a row, California's population is shrinking. You can blame the pandemic, immigration restrictions, and residents looking for cheaper places to live. Nearly 650,000 people left California in 2020. More than 82,000 of those moved to Texas. 275,000 people left California in 2021, many of them leaving the Golden State for the Lone Star State. Which brings us to this mystery. Who is behind this strongly worded billboard in L.A. and San Francisco saying, don't move to Texas? Fox 11's Phil Schumann, who's on the case, he joins us live from Hollywood Hills. Phil, what'd you find out? Well, not as much as I would like, to be honest with you. Strongly worded, though, is right, um, Marla and Coco. Take a look. This could be a gun control group. It could be a group of Texans that just don't like folks in California coming to their state. But what we know for sure is that right now, it's a mystery. There are two on Coanga Boulevard West by the Barham exit near the 101 freeway. A third facing the freeway itself all with the same ominous message. The Texas miracle died in Uvalde. Don't move to Texas, complete with a sunglass-wearing man in a hoodie, a classroom reflected in the lenses, puzzling to those who see them. I think it just showed up. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's here. I mean, maybe to promote anti-gun violence. And there's more. Another showed up in San Francisco at Folsom and 7th. And who's behind them? No answer from Fox Point Media, a Chicago-based billboard leasing company. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, no comment. His office referred me to the Texas Department of Transportation. Their don't mess with Texas slogan was originally for a highway anti-littering campaign. As for Governor Newsom's office, nothing. We know there's no love loss between Newsom and Abbott. Last year, Newsom took out full-page newspaper ads in Texas critical of their governor's conservative position on abortion. Kind of startled me, and I wondered who the hell put that up there. Texas-born Milam Freitag gassing up below the billboards was asking the same questions we were. I grew up in Austin, so I have mixed feelings about Texas. I certainly like Austin. He summed up the mystery quite nicely. I wouldn't say I'm offended by it, just curious. Curious yeah. as, like, who would have funded that? There's just so much going on with polarization in the country, so it makes me think of that. It's like California versus Texas. So much emotion, of course, tied into Uvalde, reference on the billboard, of course, 22 dead back in May. Um, I checked with the city. Once a location, Marlon Coco, is okayed for a billboard, then it's a private deal between the billboard leasing company and whoever pays money for it, so there's no way to track the origin of this through the city, and typically a billboard like this would be thousands of dollars per month. Live in the Hollywood Hills, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.